Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about some street photography at the Washington State Fair 2023. Uh, I'm going to do a little intro here to cover the gear I used and I want to encourage you to stay tuned till the end where I'll share some thoughts about the photos and my experience at the fair as well as an update on what's going on on the channel and my life and how they're connected a little bit. Um, also, while you're here and thinking about it, and I'm thinking about it, uh, please go ahead and click the like button. That always helps and is uh, greatly appreciated. And if you have not subscribed, please do so, uh, so you can see more of these exciting adventures in street photography and all things about camera stuff. So let's briefly talk about the gear I used on this photo adventure. Uh, the camera was the X-H2S. The main lens I used was the 16 to 80. When we got around to nighttime, uh, I used the uh, Fujinon XF uh, 10 to 24 F4 for two of the long exposure shots. And I also used, uh, relatively new to me, the Viltrox AF 75mm F1.2. The more I use this lens, the more I like it. I'll do a whole video about this coming up in a in a while. Uh, at night, oh my goodness, it's lovely. Um, enough on that. The other lens I used is the Fujinon XF 33mm f1.4. You didn't know I had this lens, did you? Well, I'll tell you the story about this lens again in a future video, so I gotta keep you coming back. So next up are the photos and uh, point of view video from the day. I decided to do one video that's just a little bit longer uh, rather than splitting this up into multiple videos and I'll talk about why a little bit at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned till the end. And uh, so enjoy the photos and I'll see you in a minute.
I hope you enjoyed those photos those uh, and the experience of the day at the fair. Uh, what I'm going to do here is share a couple thoughts about that. Then at the end, I will also give an update on what's going on in my life that's going to affect what's happening, uh, what you'll see next on this channel. So um, some thoughts on the photos. Uh, I really enjoy the fair, but I had a hard time this day. Uh, and I think it's for a couple reasons. Um, some of them, well, they're all personal, I guess. Uh, the reasons for me why I struggled a little bit is... Previous times when I've photographed at the fair, I haven't been in a street photography frame of mind. I've been in kind of abstract, minimalist, uh, other things. So I was falling into doing that again. I also noticed I was doing a lot of the same photos I've made before. I made in last year's video at the fair and I've made in previous years, kind of the low hanging, easy fruit. Um, yeah, it just wasn't exploring and uh, seeking new, more interesting things, at least, or more challenging photos to create. So I was a little frustrated with myself. Also, I was frustrated with the food prices. Oh my gosh, 13 bucks for an elephant ear. Ah, it's just too much. I felt like I got into a little bit more of a groove uh, it, as they got towards evening, as the light changed especially. So um, the lesson for me and maybe for you too is, you know, light is super important as we make photos. Paying attention to it, how you react to it, how you interact with it is really, really important. And then uh, lastly, uh, just a general thought, and it's going to lead into the, the final bit here, is I was kind of distracted this day. Um, I had a lot of stuff in my brain, thinking about things. Uh, uh, professionally for myself and that will lead to the next part of the conversation so I think part of that distraction and I know when I'm distracted and can't focus pardon the photography pun on the photos uh, I don't enjoy the experience as much and I don't feel like I'm engaged as much in actually creating discovering and composing interesting photos so that's what was going on for me so you're probably wondering, what was the distraction? Well, here's the distraction. Uh, as you may or may not know, I teach photography at Highline College. Generally, I teach three classes per quarter as an adjunct faculty. If you know anything about adjunct faculty, we work quarter to quarter, semester to semester. We don't have a long-term contract or even a guarantee that we'll have a class. So for this upcoming fall quarter, I have two classes, Long story, not my choice, but anyway. So that means uh, Michael needs to find some extra income. So one of the things I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start a part-time weekend job. I'll, I'm going to not tell you about it yet because I want to make sure it's going to work. Uh, but so that's going to take away some, some of my time I use for this channel. So I'm not sure what my rhythm will be like going forward. I know I'm going to at least skip next week. Uh, so there won't be a video in the first part of October. Uh, and then hopefully I can do at least two videos a month. That's going to be, I think, what I'm going to try and do. So... So that's my brief update. Um, I'm not sure where this is all going to land. I will leave notes in the community section. Uh, also, if you would like to follow along on what's going on in my life photographically between now and the next video, please join me on Instagram and or threads. Links to those down below. Speaking of things to do down below, um, please leave a comment. I'd really like to hear your thoughts, hear how you're doing in this uh, autumn season that we're entering and how your photo adventures are going and what you thought about this video video. So that's a little bit about me. I hope you enjoyed these photos. I really appreciate your watching and uh, tuning in and I will look forward to seeing you in a future video before too terribly long, but it's probably not going to be next week. So until I do see you in that next video or if you go watch another one, as I always like to say, stay safe, stay well, and have fun creating photos. Bye for now. <music>